Hello, my name is Joel Berman. I'm from Acronis, and today I'll be demonstrating how to install and operate the Acronis Backup and Recovery Online product. I'll show you how to download a free trial, how to install it, how to initialize it, and then how to actually store your server image or your workstation image onto the Acronis Cloud. You'll also be told how you can back up and recover that image at any time in the future. So to get started, we go to the Acronis.com website. Then we'll go over to the Try Buy tab, and we'll come look at the Try Buy All products. As you can see, Acronis has quite a few products that can be trialed. Today, we're going to narrow it down to cloud backup products. And we'll look at what's available for our uh, small and medium businesses. We'll see that there's actually three products. There's the Acronis Backup and Recovery Online, which we'll demonstrate in a minute. And there's the Acronis VM Protect 8 Online, which is our product that's used to store VMware uh, virtual machines and then recover them in case of uh, any need to because you've lost data or lost a disk or had an emergency or whatever. So we click on the Try Now and we come right in to log into our Acronis account. If we don't have an account, we click over here on the Don't Have an Account tab, of course, and we fill out the form and we'll give it a um, email address and a password and that will set up our Acronis subscription. As I say create the account, it will go over to Acronis create the account and then you'll see an email pop up when the um, uh, subscription arrives. So if we come in and there it is, we look and we see that we've got a trial subscription registered. We come down here and confirm that indeed we do want to receive a free trial. That will take us to an activation page that tells us what to do, how to download the instructions and the evaluation guide, and how to install the software, which is next. So we click on the download link, and it will say, do you wish to run or save a Cronus? And of course, we say, yes, we wish to save it. And it starts to download. Okay, I didn't make you wait for the entire download, but you can see it came in here, ABR 11.5, and I'll double-click on that, and it will begin to um, scan and then activate so that we can do the installation. We get the typical Windows warning, and then we get install. Yes, we want to install, so we push install. It tells us it will guide us through. I accept the terms of the agreement, and I click Next, and I click Next. It says no license has been specified. That's okay. We'll get that in a little while. I say yes, and I uh, just next through. I want to participate in the customer experience program, and now it's ready to install, and the installation starts. Okay, so our program installed and we click finish and now the next step tells us to start up the Acronis console. So we come in and uh, see all programs. We'll see that Acronis installed the uninstaller and it's also installed the backup and recovery and it's um, installed the bootable media builder. We'll come in and we'll start up a Cronus Backup and Recovery. And the first thing it will ask us is um, whether we want to create a bootable media. Remember that if you lose an entire disk or a server, you need to start somewhere. So what happens is you come in and you push Create, and you can use a USB or a DVD and create a bootable media and that way if you do have to start from scratch bare metal you'll be able to boot up that media then go to the cloud and recover your image and you'll have everything back which is of course the purpose of this whole program in the first place so I'm gonna skip creating the bootable media but it will nag us every time until we've actually done one and told it not to show us the message anymore so I go to close and if I go back and look here, it will ask me to activate my online backup subscription. And I do that by 
coming over here to Actions, Activate Online Backup Subscription. It will ask me for my credentials. If you remember, we typed in ABRO Video plus, I believe we did Trial 1 at gmail.com and my password and it will go out to the Acronis Cloud and it connects and it says we indeed have a server trial one terabyte subscription for 60 days and I'm going to tell it to activate we do this step because the machine that I downloaded and got everything going on might not be the machine that I want to eventually use so this gives you a chance to activate on the machine and it's going to assign that subscription specifically to this machine I do that and now my subscription is um, is complete I want to come in and I want to do a backup I want to back up right now so I click on backup now and it will ask me what do I want to back up I want to back up disk one I say where do I want to back it up so I click on location I want to back up to the online backup storage I've got a trial subscription so I need to log in the first time a B R O V D O plus T R I L one at gmail.com and my password. And now I'm logged in. It says there's no items there because we haven't done any backup yet. I'm going to take all of the defaults. So it's going to back up the entire disk and it's going to back it up into an archive one on the cloud so I push OK it will check the vault it will make sure everything's good here we go it says the task is being started we'll watch the percentage start to go up and when we're sure it's okay I'll pause the video because it will take a while for this backup to complete so it looks like it's progressing just fine so at this point I'll pause the video and I'll resume when this is completed okay so we can see that our task is finished we've done the complete backup we can see the details of the um, backup that we've done so we're all set so we close that up and we see that we've succeeded with our our backup you can see I've used this uh, image before. So I logged into my account and I see a number of things here and over here I see online backup for business. I click on that. It asks me to accept the terms and conditions to be able to use this tool and I see I have no available subscriptions. I have one subscription that I activated. That's the one that we um, have just used and we can see that I have this, this server here and I've used a quota. I've already put uh, 12 gigabytes into that, that server. Okay, the one last thing that we might want to do is go back to our Acronis Backup and Recovery Management Console, click on Create Backup Plan, which you see is very similar to what we just did, and set up a backup scheme where you would do a backup every hour or every four hours or every eight hours or whatever period that you wanted to do and that would then automatically run you could set it up to send email messages when it was complete or if there were any errors or anything like that so I won't go through all of this but it's very easy to set up a periodic backup plan and those backups will happen much more quickly and as I said before to recover you would use the bootable media that we create and you would use that to go back to the cloud, restore the image from the cloud, and before you know it, you'll be up and running again. Thank you very much.